According to World Bank data, our GDP has grown from approximately 6 billion to almost 77 billion over the period. With the exception of 2020, economic growth has been steady. In fact, within the 30 years prior to the promulgation of the 1992 constitution, there were years of economic de decline, but not in the years after, uh, in the years of the Fourth Republic. With this, among other things, it, can, it cannot be credibly argued that Ghanaians have not benefited economically from return to democracy. Our 1992 constitution can therefore be described as placing us on the right path towards meeting the goals stated in our constitution's preamble. That is, to create a Ghana in which, and I quote, blessings of liberty, equality of opportunity, and prosperity are increasingly made available to all. Fortunately, an, an overwhelming majority of Ghanaians acknowledge the superiority of, demo, of democracy over other forms of governance, and in many and in most surveys, reject single party and military rule as viable alternatives to our democracy, contrary to what you hear on social media. Thank you.